Uh, Pat and Stu for Glenn today because Glenn, uh, I, I guess he didn't realize that uh, the show actually happens Shut on up. Mondays now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Shut about up. this about this time every Monday. Where is he supposed is to be on Mondays? Like, like anywhere he's sitting he wants? where I am right oh, now in this room. Yeah, in this room on Mondays. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Huh? I guess it's fairly new. Uh, and he's not oh, used God. to it yet. Okay, that might is be. That, is that what happened, Glenn? You're just not used to the new schedule oh, change. Oh my God! <laughs> you uh, thought... No, some of us have been working this weekend. We're working through the night. Uh huh. Um, I'm actually down in Liberty County, uh, Texas. We uh, are doing a new Blaze documentary for January, and uh, the researchers and Jason has been down here, and they're going to be here for a week. I'll be back on the air tomorrow, but. Uh, I'm just getting I'm just getting ready for a full day uh, of looking at the world's largest trailer park, the mo- world's most dangerous tra- trailer park. Um, it's a uh, it's an area called Colony Ridge. You might have read about it. Uh, there's been a couple of stories out about this unbelievable uh, uh, cartel run community. If you can, it is the size of Miami. Uh, and it's mm. all illegals. Uh, and I know nobody is illegal. What's happening here is you've got a county of about 70,000 people, and in the middle of it is 30,000 acres. It's in a flood zone. Uh, and some developers bought it all up, and they are selling it to illegals. And here's – this is so – I mean – you're talking about uh, a change in elections just with this county. Um, you're talking about uh, corruption and gangs. They've had body dumps there, mm. massive drugs going on. They are only, for a community now of 70,000, there are only six to eight police officers. And beyond that, uh, the prosecutor, for some reason, won't prosecute any anybody in colony ridge uh so cops don't have a reason to go in because they're not nobody's going to jail we don't know why we have a place where the developers have dumped forty thousand gallons plus of raw sewage into the local creeks nobody does anything um they're charging credit card interest rates so it's five hundred dollars down for a three hundred thousand dollar house it's five hundred dollars down and then your monthly payment but here's the good news you have an interest rate between 20 and 30 percent the more defaults happen in colony ridge than any place else and what happens they default the developer which is providing all the loans at such a low low price he then repossesses the house and sells it again. Mm-hmm. It is an absolute nightmare, and it it's happening not just here; it's happening all over the country. This this community is almost, and will be in a few months, almost the size of Grand Rapids. Wow! And, and Glenn, something on that scale doesn't pop up overnight. This is not like okay, a few people have come across the border. This is something that has been going on for a while. Why hasn't anyone done anything about it so far? It's an interesting question. Um, I uh, we have reached out to the governors to ask uh, for an interview with the governor. This isn't going to make us more popular with our own Texas governor. Um, but we have reached out. We can't seem to coordinate our schedules, darn it. But what's interesting is the brother, it's two brothers that are running this. I'm going to be doing an interview today with the main brother, the guy who's really responsible for this. But his partner, his other brother, happens to be one of the governor's biggest donors. Given our governor in Texas over a million dollars in his campaign, which is, I'm sure, a complete coincidence. How far is this? How far is Colony Ridge from Houston? It's fa- it's fairly close, right? Within a hundred miles. Oh, we're, or so? how far are we from? Oh no, we're closer than that. How yeah. far are we from Houston? We're about what? Twenty miles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So 
amazing. The, the, so the the county, the people who lived in that county, it's very, very red. And this has brought in so much danger to the community. I mean, honestly, body dumps. You're just out in the field and you're like, oh, there's a dead body. Um, it's being run by the, by the cartels. Uh, and, uh, and, but don't worry. Um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, Colony Ridge is hiring their own police for it. They're going to, they're going to hire some of the police, which sounds very Chicago 1930s. Um, but the uh, people who live there are so angry about this. They won't Mm. vote. And I wouldn't either. They won't vote for a single bond measure. Here's the problem. You have the school growing 10 students a day. They've built, the state has built these beautiful uh, facilities, but they can't hire the teachers. They can't do anything because the, the former residents, the ones who live there now, while they still live there, I'm talking to a group of people who have lived there for generations. They're moving now because they can't take the crime. They can't take the, the uh, problems. Um, they won't vote for any new teachers or anything else. So now what happens? I mean, this, this is a, an absolute nightmare the size of Miami. Now, you mentioned that uh, a lot of the illegals that get into these homes lose the home. Then what happens to them? Oh, yeah. Where do they wind up after that? <laughs> that I don't know. I will ask, but I, that I don't know yet. I haven't met with any of the principals yet. I'm, that's what I'm doing this morning and the rest of the day and tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be doing the show tomorrow from Houston. Um, but then um, I have to go back in uh, and, and interview some more, some more people, including Dan Patrick. I will ask Dan Patrick. Yeah. Um, he's, the, uh, he's the head of our Senate, uh, and he's very upset about this. But he is. You can't get anybody to do anything. And, you know, the problem is everything this developer is doing is legal. It's just Jeez. immoral absolutely immoral he is building uh roadways that look like it's just a veneer i mean we for a state that doesn't have hard freezes uh and then you know really hot temperature and then another hard freeze i can't tell you why after a year the roads look the way they do they are completely broken up he's not he says he's building them to state standards and my guess is he probably is to the very lowest grade, but he's then giving those roads, God bless his heart, over to the county to maintain after two years. I've seen the roads that have been there for a year. They're going to have to all just be bulldozed and repaved by the county. How is the county going to pay for that? Because the people who are living there don't have any money. They're not paying taxes. God, it's really an, an amazing, uh, <laughs> amazing thing, and it just—it's hard to imagine that we haven't heard about more about this. I know you're doing this documentary. What's the what's the schedule on this? I mean, I, I know these things take a, a while to put together. So this is but we're we're going to release it in uh, January. This is why okay. it's important for you to subscribe to Blaze TV. This is not a Glenn Beck documentary. Uh, I'm involved in this one. But this is a Blaze TV documentary. This is all of the Blaze money. And we are, we are, we brought in the best of the best uh, to help us put this together. They've been doing research on this for months, uh, including um, some members of my research staff as well, helping them. uh, And they've got it so well buttoned up. And you'll see it in January only on Blaze TV. But it is, I, let me say this. Can I say this? Uh, <laughs> Usually security, probably not. <laughs> let's say, yeah. Let's just say this. Security on the team is unlike anything I've seen before. Mm. Uh, this is, this is uh, something that a lot of people are not going to be happy is, uh, is airing. And it is going to have this. Because this guy is doing this legally, 
because he's found the found a way to get around everything that really matters. This is the most immoral legal thing I think I've ever seen, and it's going to happen all over the country. There are by the end of the Biden administration, there will be 10 million illegals in Houston. 10 percent of the population is illegal. 10 percent. Well, that's we only even, that's only like a million people, though. That's that's not that <laughs> that's bad. It? Just, yeah. in Houston. Yeah, just in just Houston. in Houston. Here's here's the the, <laughs> wow. the other side of this. And I, I haven't gotten into this yet. We'll get into it next year when this documentary um, goes. But. This is the way Texas is going to become deep, deep blue. Mm. This, just this population, mm. if somebody figures out how to register or how to just collect votes from unregistered people, this would have meant just this community could have meant that Beto was our senator, not Ted Cruz. Frightening. Wow, uh, it's it's amazing, um, and I've seen the uh, some of the schedule of what they're planning to do with these documentaries over the next year. It is aggressive, and they are. I mean, this Very. is going to be something you're really going to want to be involved in uh, if you, you're going to want to see these things. Um, it's blazetv.com/slash Glenn. Go ahead, Glenn. Yeah, and I, I will tell you that when I started Blaze TV, this is this is why I wanted to um, have the subscribers and everything else, so we could have the money to be able to do all this blaze has built itself into such a a workhorse now and really pretty darn bulletproof that we can actually afford to do these things and finally we're able to be the investigative arm we're no longer going to wait for abc nbc cbs whatever they're useless they're going to have to start answering to us why aren't you covering this? Beyond that, they keep saying we're, you know, you, all the right is only engaged in conspiracy theories. Really? More people will end up watching this than will be watching anything on 60 Minutes. Because people will know that this is the truth, and they will have to respond to us. And it's about time. <laughs> It is about time. Uh, BlazeTV.com slash Glenn is the place to go to subscribe. If you use the code Glenn, you get to save 20 bucks off your subscription. And, and like I think already, Blaze TV is, is worth it, worth well worth your money. Mm -hmm. But if oh, you yeah. have the extra to spend, it's, going, it's getting better and better and better by the day. This project with Glenn is just one of the many that are coming. And I've seen some of the summaries of them. They're, I mean, it looks like there will be some really this incredible shocking. stuff. Yeah. Really yeah. This, stuff. This, this alone is shocking. Uh, and we'll, we're the first to go in and actually do an interview with all of these people um, that are living there, living around it, and the guy who's responsible for it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've heard very little of this. Very little of Colony yeah. Ridge. You used, to, you used to do a show in Houston. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, this is just on the outskirts. Yeah. I mean, there's an inner loop in Houston, there's an outer loop, and then there's a really outer loop. It's just beyond that. I mean, it is so Pat. Yep. This whole place is a is a flood zone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Already, just with the heavy Houston rains. Yep. It's almost up to your knees. People are defaulting because they have to repair their house from the rain, well, not I'm a sure. hurricane. I'm sure from the rain. Well, this is this is a disaster of biblical proportions waiting to happen. First of all, if you spit in Houston, it floods your house. So <laughs> yeah. you don't want to do that. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's bad enough. I mean, I can imagine uh, the the catastrophe that this place could be. Uh, okay. So amazing. imagine, Pat, you've seen hurricanes here. You've seen mm -hmm. what it's done. Imagine a very a brand new community that floods during the rains. Yeah. Being hit by a hurricane, 90,000 people out of a house. Unreal. All illegal. Don't speak English. Good What's going to happen? Wow. All right. By the way, the fire, department, the fire department is a volunteer fire department for the county. It's got like seven guys, one truck. <laughs> oh, amazing. 
Uh, all right, Glenn. It's by the way, blazetv.com slash Glenn. Promo code is Glenn. And Glenn, if you need us to send you a, a copy of the show schedule on an ongoing <laughs> basis, you know, just just, yeah. just let us know. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>